negative emissions could become a trillion dollar industry. Humanity has left the task of cutting emissions to so late that simply going to zero won't be enough. We'll have to go negative, that is capture and bury more carbon dioxide than we currently put into the atmosphere. That sounds like science fiction, but it is not. We already have a technology that does it. Trees. The world's forests capture more carbon dioxide than they release. But we have been cutting down forests at an unprecedented rate for the last two centuries. So one way to achieve negative emissions would be to reverse that trend, preserve what we've got, and regrow what we've lost. But that wouldn't be enough. The world needs to reach net negative emissions in less than three decades. It means we'll have to rely on other methods to capture carbon dioxide, and luckily there are quite a few available. Three cheap and two expensive. One, farmers can help. Instead of tilling their lands after a harvest, farmers should leave the roots and other organic matter as is. Doing this year over year helps trap carbon. Two, farmers can also use special minerals. Crushed basalt rock, for example, when mixed with soil, has the ability to dissolve in water, lower its acidity, and capture carbon dioxide. The process improves crop yields, which makes farmers happy, and eventually that water ends up in oceans, where little critters called phytoplankton munch on the dissolved carbon. Three, farmers can also use specially created char, which is essentially burned wood. When mixed with soil, it captures more carbon than it would without char. These are the cheap routes, and in theory, they can work, but we've yet to scale them up. So we might have to rely on some expensive routes too. The scale of negative emissions may be as much as 10 billion tons of carbon dioxide each year. That's about a quarter of what we put out into the atmosphere each year today. So four, we can burn wood and other types of biomass in power plants, then capture the carbon dioxide it produces and bury it deep underground where oil and gas first came from. The idea is that trees capture carbon dioxide, which if not released and instead buried underground will create negative emissions. There's even a power plant in the UK that has built a small scale pilot to show how this technology works. Five, there are machines that can simply filter the air and capture carbon dioxide. There are slightly more sophisticated version of filters used to reduce indoor air pollution. There are at least three companies in the world that have working prototypes of these so-called direct air capture machines. But like solar panels in the early days, they are quite expensive and won't become cheap without government support. That may just happen. Experts believe that if the world is serious about tackling climate change, the negative emissions market could be as large as $1.4 trillion each year. That's trillion with a T. In other words, we'll have to build an industry that buries carbon underground, which will then earn as much as the fossil fuel industry earns today, pulling that carbon out of the ground. This is Net Zero. I'm Akshat Rati. Follow us on Quick Take and Global.